So, Cats and Paul for Locker Room, and Cat Friendly is officially dead. So, already kind of covered this on the channel, just kind of want to give my thoughts on it. I think this is a big loss for the NHL and their fan base. I understand that Washington Capitals bought the website, want to use that structure internally, and I can understand it completely because it was the best cat function website for the NHL out there. Now, there is other options, and I'll link it down below in the description, like Puckpedia. They allow you to look at cap and go through rosters, and this isn't do slam them in any way. way. They have added some nice things, but it, it needs a little bit more improvement. I would say Cat Friendly was more intuitive, better designed, but I think Puckpedia, understanding now that there's a huge hole in the market, if they can tweak a few things and improve their interface and... I would say a little less ads so it's not bogged down throughout the whole damn page. It could really shine. But I think cat friendly being removed is a big disappointing thing to happen to the NHL fan base. Because it was a lot of fun using their machine, doing the armchair GM thing, seeing like, okay, how would this fit? How would this trade work out? Seeing how buyouts worked out. They had every single tool you would want. And... I guess I could understand the NHL maybe not wanting fans to have that, but I feel like when you have a website out there like that, that makes fans more, I would say, informed about the workings of the league and make them understand how buyouts work, make them understand how the, like, the cap implication of certain deals would work. It just, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's an extremely good thing for the league. And I don't think the league's, mad or sad to see that website go. I think the Washington Capitals taking it over for internal <laughs> operations is definitely interesting. And there's going to be people with just uh, the same amount of ability to make a similar website. Obviously, the people that designed it and owned it most likely had to sign a non-compete clause so they didn't just make another clone of it and make another website of similar fashion now that that property and IP is owned completely by the Washington Capitals. But it is a sad day for the NHL hockey fan and it was a lot of fun to make videos around cap friendly to you know really go into deeper detail like just the way it was lined out was beautiful but hopefully Puckpedia is able to raise the bar hopefully they're able to get to a similar level again not trying to sound like a hater but a little less ads on the page when I'm scrolling through would be fantastic just makes it a better experience for the user. And I understand these websites, they're trying to make money. I have my own website launching soon. But uh, the big thing for me is the priority is always going to be the user interface. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? That's the most important thing to me. Yeah, I have a banner on the top, maybe the bottom that you can close, or the bottom where you have to scroll all the way to the bottom. I understand it can go per click, per view. There's different CPMs for that. Hopefully they kind of adjust that. Quick little uh, outro side note here. Sorry for not making videos. I've been extremely busy on the boats. So kind of yesterday I just want to sleep. But uh, also want to kind of mention this. Uh, for you that don't know, some of you do know that have been following me for a bit. I do run a hockey website. There's a league that I'm affiliated with. Uh, we have a lot of prize pools. We're actually having a $1,500 bring your own team tournament that's already fulfilled but you know i'll link uh the league's discord and stuff of that nature we're gonna have money leagues coming this fall for nhl 25 so if you do play in sixes leagues even fours leagues that will be coming to the website once that is launched definitely check it out if you're interested and uh yeah that's my own personal entity i'm not bought or paid for in that regard that is actually a website that i've had i own so that will be completely relaunched soon but sad day for the nhl hopefully puckpedia is able to raise the game see you in the next one